with Ai Cadenza, and I'm sitting near Bovard Auditorium at USC, where the Western Regional Finals of the Metropolitan Opera National Council auditions just took place. There were nine finalists, and Lisa Davila was one of them, and we have the pleasure of sitting here today and talking to her about her experience. So hi, Lisa. Hi, Julia. Can you tell us a little bit about competing and what the process is generally like in competitions? Uh, well, the process is pretty simple. You submit uh, a selection of pieces and you bring them to the competition and, and you choose one of the pieces and the judges choose another piece. And uh, so you sing a total of two arias in the competition and then they pass you on or they, they say try again. <laughs> Getting to this stage in this particular competition is a really, really big accomplishment. Can you talk a little bit about what it took to get here and what, how many rounds of competition there were? Sure. There were two rounds of competitions to get here. I auditioned for the San Francisco District in San Francisco. They had two dates of competitions and I auditioned on the second date and was um, one of two winners chosen from over 20 singers for that day. And then the winners from the district from the San Francisco district were sent to the Western Regionals and there were 20, no, 19 singers and the preliminary auditions happened yesterday and so I was one of nine singers chosen from 19 uh, to compete today in the Western Finals and then, and then the competition today decided the finalists that will go on to New York that will go through another two rounds of competition to make it through the top finalists for the competition. It's very exciting. How do you view competition? Um, how do you compare competition to performance? Is there a difference? How do you approach each of those? I approach a competition just like a performance. My goal is not to win a certain amount of money. It's just to do my job for that day and to really sing my best and, and be myself for that day. So I, I show what I want to show. I show that I am my kind of singer, my own instrument, and aside from anybody else or what anybody else is singing and that I'm doing my best for that day and I have found making those decisions has been the most successful for me. Master of balancing your career with family, and I know you have you have children and you're married. How do you balance all of that? Well, it does take a very supportive family for for everyone, but I think um, a special kind of support for someone who's involved in the performing arts. I have a very understanding and loving husband who lets me come to activities like this that take up an entire weekend of our family life together and he is very gracious and loving to watch over the children and he is also a musician and so he understands the need uh, that there is for a performer to get out there and to sing and to, to present yourself to feel whole and so um, I, I think first of all it takes a loving partner and then to take uh, to take your passion and really believe in it you know so that through all the times of struggling scheduling challenges there might be there, uh, there is your passion that drives you through and, and that you know you have a purpose to go out there and share yourself. And your voice is really uniquely pleasant and, and just so moving. And on behalf of your current and future fans, I want to thank you for going into this line of work. How did you first get started with opera? Well, it kind of runs in my family. I have an aunt who's an international opera singer, and my mother's also a singer, and we play many instruments in our family. I, I studied the piano from a young age and, and was involved in singing from a young age as well. We were involved in um, choruses in operas when I was just young, doing things like Amal and the Night Visitors or La Boheme, singing in the children's chorus in the second act. And so those experiences have really enriched and, and strengthened my own pursuit of an operatic career. having looking at some um, lead singer on stage and have a feeling like, I really want to do that in my life. I know that I, that it fulfills me. 
and classical music is just so different from so many other genres of music that are popular today. What do you think distinguishes classical music from other forms of music? That's really hard question because uh, so many, uh, all the other forms of expression uh, I think should be seen as that, as, as art forms and one not better than the other because each of us as individuals have so many different things to express and can be done in so many ways, uh, paintings, you know, drawings, art. Performing arts organizations today are having a lot of trouble attracting a young audience to the performing arts. What do you think can be done about that and how can we seek to, to expose young people today to the, to the performing arts? Oh, there are, um, I think it's easy to help educate elementary school children. Easy, a little easier to do that than, let's say, high school youth. Um, but I, I think it takes reaching out in both directions, you know, because opera singers and opera companies can only do so much, and there are wonderful programs out there. But try something new. Find a, find a new direction. If you've heard the word opera and maybe before have thought, oh no, those singers, you know, boring, other language, I don't get it, all that music, you know, why? Well, I, um, my encouragement is to find the story behind it. Share, share the message that opera is about stories. Opera is about people. And um, when I engage in the story in an opera, it's so much more fulfilling it's singing an aria. And then it gives me a purpose when I go out to perform to share that character with the rest of the audience. And kind of backtracking just a little bit, what do you think is the role of competitions in a singer's career trajectory? Do you think that they're necessary, important, or just helpful? I think it's, um, I think at first it is necessary for building yourself uh, as a singer and performer. And I, and I think that's the whole point of competitions anyway. You know, not out there to gain a certain amount of money, although that is a bonus, but, you know, find yourself in the competition and kind of be, um, you know, shaped by those experiences. It's hard. It's tough to be criticized. Nobody wants to have someone sit in front of you and tell them why they didn't like you <laughs> as much as the person sitting next to you. That's a little tough. But um, I think it is necessary for building a resume to show that you're getting out there, you're getting heard, you're getting experience, and that will strengthen your stage performance. Now, sometimes they don't go hand in hand. Sometimes the people um, who would like you on a stage performance through an, an audition through a company wouldn't agree with what you're seeing in an audition. I mean, for the competition. The competition judges would say, oh, you know, don't pursue, but you might have success somewhere else. So it kind of is a mixed bag when you come to competitions. You never know what you're gonna get. But hard though it is, I do know that it's worthwhile and um, think that there are good goals, especially like the Metropolitan National Council auditions, to inspire singers to get out there. Now, my next performances are to audition, audition, audition everywhere. For me, that is a performance. Every time I step in front of some critic or some director, so I plan on auditioning for uh, many companies here in California, because I'm local, and, and then see where it goes from there. So I, I really now feel like I, I want to step out there and, and with the strengthening experience of this competition and support and backing from the judges and from you know, fr friends and family support here going forward and uh, finding success through the next auditions. Well, we're really looking forward to, see, to seeing what comes next for you and best of luck to you with your career and thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thanks, it's really great to see you again and 